afternoon, I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips, and I am happy to be seeing some sun here on this Friday. Mother Nature giving us those Friday vibes with a few peaks of sun that we have, and we're going to want to enjoy it while we have it because this look isn't going to last all day. So like I said, soak up the sun while you have it, the water nice, just kind of maybe even thinking about a time that is it December? We can daydream about those warmer days because we are going to be talking about some winter like weather today. Later on, we are going to find that we see rain and snow moving into Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. And like I said, enjoy the sun while we have it because when those rain chances and snow chances return, we'll also have cloudy skies to go with it. You'll find temperatures peaking into the lower 40s for your afternoon, but we are still going to be having a little bit of weather to work through before the weekend. This is what I'm watching. The storm, you can see it has the snow, it has the rain, so we have the warm and the cold coming together there, but our temperatures here at home is going to determine what we see as far as our precipitation type meaning rain or snow. And so far this system, of course, located just uh, east of Lake Michigan, and that's going to continue though to move closer. So we will see that here around two, even three o'clock. That's when it's going to start to enter our neck of the woods. And then we are going to find that Southeast Michigan, you are going to run the chance for seeing some of that little bit of wet snow that tries to mix in. Also in the rainy part of this, it's going to be a chilly kind of damp rain what we work with. So you are going to be seeing that even our northern counties uh, right along the state line, you could be seeing some of that wet snow mixing in. So we'll have that even here we are at dinner time tonight. We will have a little bit of a side dish if you're going to have some Friday night plans of the rain and snowfall. Now roadways should just be wet. I am going to be monitoring the chance for a little bit of that snow to stick. It will be very brief if you're through the metro and along the Maumee River. If you're north of there, you could see a little bit of it stack up, but soil temperatures a reading out of Lenawee County was 41 degrees. So that means that it's not going to be staying around all that long and it's not like there's a lot that comes with it. A lot of this rain and snow has exited the area before midnight tonight and then we're stuck with the cloudy skies and that'll be here for the weekend. So if you have Friday evening plans, you will be working with the rain and snow, but temperatures are forecasted to be into the mid to upper 30s above the freezing mark. So that's why we're not anticipating much as far as some travel impacts. Of course, it may be a little bit slower and when you have wet roads, of course, take it easy out there but we shouldn't be seeing accumulating snow on our roadways. Now for Saturday, maybe you're going to lights before Christmas. Maybe you have plans even before sunset. We'll find temperatures peaking tomorrow afternoon into the lower 40s. We'll have quite a bit of cloud cover, but at least we have dry weather for both Saturday and your Sunday as well. So it'll be seasonal. Maybe you have to go to the Christmas tree farm. Still need to pick up that tree. If so, temperatures will be into the lower 40s. Saturday and Sunday are going to be very similar. Now, if you are maybe in a crunch on time, Here's an update. We're counting down the days till Christmas. You have 16 days. It's two weeks, two days until we will be seeing, well, maybe that guy doing a little bit of work for us. So just a heads up, trying to help you out to uh, stay ahead on things. But what about a white Christmas? We sing about it. We talk about it. Is it too early to talk about it? Is it too early to even know what kind of uh, system we could have by then? It's a touch early, but we can at least look at some of the data. So on average, historical averages for us is about 35%, but we are watching in our local forecast for a little bit more of cooler air to be swinging through leading up to the Christmas holiday. So that's why we are seeing our chances for a white Christmas to start to trend upward. Does it mean that we're going to have one? We don't have the data yet for that. But if you have the WTO All 11 weather app, you'll know first thing when we can see that Christmas outlook because not only do we have hourly forecast there, but you have that daily tab on the bottom of the app that gives you the full 10 days. So when December 25th comes up, you will know what we are tracking by then. And tonight though, you're going to be using the app to track that rain and snowfall. So you have that app. It's a free download. You can get it on the Apple App Store. You can also get it on the Google Play Store. And it is, like I said, free. All you got to do is search WTOL 11 weather, and then you can download that app to your phone to make sure you are ready to go for, well, the winter season and beyond. Now, looking at our extended forecast, once we get through the rain and snow tonight, 
the forecast goes quiet, so it will be cloudy for the weekend and early next week, but we'll have seasonal temperatures, dry roadways, making it a little bit easier for us. Until Wednesday, though temperatures jump into the mid 40s, I'm watching a, a new system. So this is what we'll be talking about if you disconnect over the weekend. This is what we'll be watching over the weekend and even into early next week to make sure you're ready for the rain part of the storm that unlocks then colder air. Highs will be into the mid 30s, lows at times will be into the 20s, and that is gonna unlock some lake effect snow showers. So that's why we're gonna see those for Friday and even about a week or so from now. So keep that in mind that you're gonna wanna have that app for updates even before we get to Christmas, because we are gonna be looking at still this active pattern. We've been seeing that here recently, and that is not going to change. It doesn't look like it's going to budge as we head into the middle and later portions of December. So just have that tool ready to go so you can stay ahead of the weather.